What's up, y'all? On June 28th, we're going to have a great event at Black and Nobel. It's going to be hip hop, nah, rap, poetry, comedy. We're going to be telling some jokes. So come, don't come through all angry and all that other stuff. The rappers might make you angry, but the comedy, they're going to make you smile. You're going to have a great time. You're going to laugh. You're going to hear some good hip hop. You might even, you know, bring. you can bring a lady. You can bring your side chick. Anybody you want. So tell somebody to tell somebody with a car. Whoever got the car, bring them with you. And we're going to have a good time. June 28th, coming back in Nobel. All right, so I'm here to tell you about the event that will be held here at Black and Nobel uh, June 28th, Saturday, from 7 to 11. We'll have live performances, poets, comedians, R&B artists, etc. Um, the event actually is a benefit concert to benefit inner city youth programming. Uh, two of the organizations that we'll be working with this time around is the Ade organization and also the Philadelphia Initiative. And since everybody in the city keep complaining about issues and nobody want to do anything and everybody's waiting for some famous person or a millionaire to come and drop money in the hood and create something, I guess I'm going to have to show people that you can do it yourself. Uh, my name is Markeith. Uh, I'm the assistant for the executive director of Ade. The full name is the Institute for Development of African American Youth. We work in a city with youth. The kids with gun charges and been locked up to kids that trying to go to college, you know. We have nine programs that we run around the city. Some of the programs are uh, Four Brothers United, uh, the Truancy Prevention Program, College Bound. Uh, after school, we have several after school programs in the city. You so say you, uh, you get in there and try to get the judge to uh, reduce sentences or, or pass out uh, more lenient sentences? Yes, yes, because we got a program that they that they go to. They go to like drug and alcohol classes, like we're taking the parenting classes, everything to try to get the judge to take it off their sentence, like they're changing already before they even got to go through it, you know what I mean? Last three men up here have given me courage, and I'm glad people came out tonight to hear this. You just said, brother, what I've been feeling in the last five years, looking at NAFTA and looking at all the jobs that are going away overseas. If a brother has a trade, if he knows he can work with his hands and make his own money be able to build his own business, it gives a man a sense of worth, and he can raise his family that way. So what I call and charge people to do, like these young men are doing, we have to learn, like you have knowledge, brother, being able to share with someone else, old and young, child or you know, whatever. We have to come together and help each other. If we have the same type of knowledge, then automatically it will grow. It will, and you'll see blossoms grow in areas where you, never, where you have urban prairie right now. We have, right now we have urban prairie in the mind. And, it's, and, and basically what, what the uh, media is telling us, we, we can't do this. I guarantee you that if we follow what these brothers are doing and my seven tenths of the Philadelphia wall, actually it's just the inner city initiative. When I go to St. Louis next next month, it's gonna be the same thing in St. Louis. When I go to New Orleans in, in September, it's gonna be the same thing in, in New Orleans. This thing works. And some of the, um, the programs that you do, you know what I'm saying, like break down what they're about. Like the first one you said, uh, I'm not recalling the title, but the Four, four Brothers. Four Brothers yeah. is a, um, it's actually a uh, catering company that we put together with. I mean, a lot of the guys in the in the neighborhood is is burdened by the fact that they can't get a job because they've been locked up and everything. So we came up with that idea. If you can't get a job, you gotta start your own business. Like that's the only way to get past that. You know what I mean? So we basically help the guys get their safe serve, and, and we got a program that we serve a lot of the um, programs around the city, like lunches during the daytime. We've been in existence, I'm gonna say, 22 years now. We actually just uh, celebrated our 22nd anniversary. What I gotta say is, that program in particular is one of the programs that drew, drew me to our day, that and the Young Fathers. Now, I like that program because they help you get your safe serve. And a lot, of, not a lot of places do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at a young age, you can have your safe serve, you're competitive in the, in the, market, in the marketplace. You're already competitive. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say no more. If you could reach us, uh, like I always say, Every night, uh, you can reach us at the BeverlyNation.vpweb.com. You can reach me at uh, Ordelli dot Ngozi at my dot com. Uh, the Beverly Nation is on Instagram at Beverly underscore Nation. We are the Bevnat on it, on uh, Twitter, and we are simply Ngozi as well as Beverly Nation on the greatest social media arm in the universe, and that is and you can reach Facebook. Us at, uh, I D A A Y dot O R G. I just want to stress the 
the event a little more on the June 28th. The same five dollars that you would pay for a mixtape, you pay for a show, and you might get a mixtape for free, just on the strength that you coming out and supporting the community. All the money you get, all the money that we get for this event goes to two of the best programs in the make. So you know, that's all I have to say. You man, you man. <laughs> so to sum it all up. Long story short, um, the contact information for all the locations will be uploaded to kingfives.biz and I'll be adding links so that you can get in contact with whatever organizations we're attached to. Also, uh, Instagram, Philly Turn Up, that's an event update page for the city of Philadelphia, so popular events will be up there. And I want to thank y'all for taking your time to listen. I want to thank Black and Nobel, Philly, and the audience for being here. Yeah. How yeah. are we? How are we? We knew. We need us. I'm the new school. Yeah. Aye. King, king. That's a me. Poverty. That's a my enemy. Aye. The ordinary sub stop, Philadelphia, PA. Shot so loud, you would think it was a club spot. African Americans, although we all over the web, we the hood librarians. We ship the prisons too. We reach out and deliver to those that's bitten too. But it's more than a bookstore. You want it, we got it. Mixtapes, DVDs, and culture products. Black and Nobel got our hands in a lot of projects. We welcome all to come build. The energy is positive. And remember, other team is awake and conscious. Come through and experience this place of knowledge. They say they'll put it in a book if they wanna hide it from us. But we got them books so you can buy it from us. Something to read while you on a train or riding a bus. Get your read on, food for thought, get your eat on. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel. Black and Nobel. I buy my books at Black and Nobel.